everybody, it's Slayer, and welcome to another mod review of my SCP mod. Yes, I am finally updating it again. This update take took far too long because there was actually supposed to be more content, but I realized that that's going to have to wait because this update actually needs to come out. <laughs> so, um, there's a few things I have to, I have to talk about here. So, originally, I planned to update and add a new custom label system that I'm working on. Uh, it's still unfinished. Uh, because I also updated M Creator. We're now on 1.19.4. Um, so yeah, the mod has been upgraded. And the thing about the M Creator update... Um... They made structures into true structures. If you don't know what that means. Um, the way structures in M Creator used to work is you couldn't use slash locate to find them and stuff like that. Now you can. And all of the old structures... Um, yeah, they broke. Because uh, they completely changed the way their structure system worked. Uh, so the way that those structures were working before didn't work, because I was using a block to spawn them. Uh, and that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Luckily, there's a bunch of pluses that come with the true structure system. But, it's a big but, um, it also removes the ability for me to add procedures to the structures, which means I'm a little more limited with how I can use structures, but I can make up for it using blocks and stuff. And I forgot the time set day. <laughs> I, I am a very professional YouTuber. Totally didn't just spend like 20 or 30 minutes setting all this up and trying to get this out, because I've been working like a dog trying to get this freaking update out. <laughs> No joke, this update took far too long. Because I wanted content in it, but I also knew that I just needed to make it a fucking bug fix update. And I had to completely rework everything. I had to rework the entire structures thing. Like, some structures like this one, this one right here, uh, this, this now spawns just naturally wherever the fuck it wants. It's a true structure. You can use slash locate to find it. It's the one with SCP-622 in it. Also, I realized that the things I added, I forgot to put things on because I've been working like a madman trying to get this out. Oh, I just realized there's a fucking missing detail. Yeah, none of them have their fucking names. God damn it. All right. Uh, well, um, got a little bit of sneak peek there. But I've also reworked some other SCPs and made them actually function correctly. Um... Like, 002 here. Uh, this will actually function correctly. I will show it off here in a sec. And yes, I did make a shitty version <laughs> for the showcase. It's not even centered correctly, and I just said, fuck it. I know it's irritating you, it irritates me too. I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> um, But yeah, first we're going to start with these, then we're going to go to that. Because that's going to be interesting. Um... So first off, first thing I need to touch, ignore all of these. Well, except for these, I've redone the key cards a bit and added a level six. Uh, this is actually based off of the new system they have in the SCP Foundation Wiki, uh, which is the ACS. If you don't know what that is, it's the Anomaly Classification System. Uh, they basically made the actual clearance levels an official part of the main canon. So, these are all the canon uh, security clearances. Um, but here's the big change to the mod. These things. These have structures that naturally spawn in the world. They're true structures, so you can slash locate them. They're orange, blue, and green portal. Um, and they, they, they're... They're interesting. They're an interesting answer to the to the uh, 
big question of how am I going to continue making SCPs um, that can only be spawned once? Because that's kind of like the big thing of this mod is I'm being lore accurate and there's only one. There can only be one in this universe. And so... What I've done is I've made these portal blocks. I know they don't look the nicest. I wanted them to be a full 3D moving block, but it didn't work. And I kind of, after fucking around with it for like a week, I just said, screw it, I'll make it an animated texture. <laughs> Which I don't think turned out too... I don't, I, don't, I don't think it turned out bad. I know it was good. Some of them look better because I started like alternating the colors after the orange one. Like, you'll notice this one kind of has a flicker effect on it. I think I like that more. I'll probably do it to that one eventually. If I redo this, one te this one's texture. Um, I kind of did it on accident, and I was just like, that's actually really good, and I like that. So I just started doing it for the other one. <laughs> so yeah, there's currently three. And the way these work is, when you interact with them, they will randomly spawn a structure. They have, a, they have a random list, and basically it's like pulling another uh, another SCP from another dimension. So if I use the orange one, let's see what we get. I got the toaster. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it spawns an SCP structure. So yeah, all the structures are still here. All the goodness that we've made. Uh, still figured out how to, how, figured out a way to make it work, and it will only spawn once. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you everything that's in each of them because I still want to keep that a little bit of a mystery. Um, but they each one is found in different biomes, so there's some biome specific one. The blue one is the most biome specific. You will only find that in Badlands. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't bother looking for the blue one and other things. The blue one's special. It goes in the it goes in the um in the biome in the in the biome in the badlands biome sorry <laughs> english no worky oh yeah it also spawn they also all spawn some of the uh some of the natural generating ones just as like a a bit of a oops you didn't get one so yeah it's like a gotcha <laughs> kind of like a gotcha machine i tried to make them rare but also not that rare so if, please comment or something if you think they're, like, too rare uh, in your game. But yeah, that is how the new system works. So yeah. Now, on to the new SCPs. We're going to talk about the new SCPs, then we're going to go into the big fix for 002, because it actually functions properly now, and dear god, that took too long to make. Uh, okay, so first off, one of my favorites that I've added, the dragon snails. They work. They're here. I have all all forms of them. Uh, I decided to go with, like, a 3D modeled egg instead of, like, most people's egg thing that they go with, which is, like, a 2D. Uh, just because, I don't know, I wanted I wanted a 3D model egg. It felt more, uh, more like it's there. So, yeah. What you'll find is you'll find this random mail truck uh, somewhere out in the world, and it will have this in it. I'm not even going to bother hiding what structures are the naturally spawning ones. Uh, for many reasons, one of which the entire point of hiding them now is just gone. Uh, so yeah, just, it's, kind of, it's kind of just been replaced by a gotcha machine anyway. So yeah. Uh, we have Dragon Snail Package here, which is what you'll find in that truck. If you right-click with this, and in Survival, it will... You can only right-click with like, right -click 12 times. It has 12 durability. It kills itself after, after that. Uh, but of course, in Creative Mode, it doesn't lose durability. And you'll just get an egg. And it's random each time. I'm getting really unlucky. There we go. I think as I'm in creative, it's fucking up the generation. <laughs> I'm getting really unlucky or something. 
I think I think it's because I'm in creative mode, though. I think that's why it's like messing up generation. Either that, or I might have made the slime belly too too common. <laughs> Don't know why it's doing that. It keeps like popping one in and then just replacing it with the slime belly. It was working perfectly earlier. I don't. I think I'm just getting really bad luck. It was working earlier. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of different egg types. So I'm just gonna, since this thing wants to be weird, I'm just gonna grab each of them here. So yeah, we have the slime belly. And yes, the models are adorable. They're not super tiny like some other mods have made them. But frankly, I like them that way. You can more see the details. And yes, they are more... They actually have their details like I went through and read. You guys don't know. I read the entire um, SCP-111 uh, list and how they should look. And tried my best to recreate them in the mod. So then we have Goo Wyverns, which they have the little bumps, bump horns and flat shells. Uh, we have the blob worm, which is the green striped boy with the one horn. And like a. I tried to do a spiral shell. Because they're, they're supposed to have like a curly shell. Uh, but it's kind of hard to make curls in Minecraft. So this is what we got. We got like a bit of a. A little bit of a. Thing coming out the back. Then we have a gunk wyvern. Which are chubby with a domed shell. And this is what I came up with. Kind of removed the horns because it didn't mention anything about horns. Uh, so I just figured, you know what? They, they sound they sound like they wouldn't have horns. They sound like they'd just be a fat snail. And they're and that's adorable. None of them breathe fire or anything. Yet. I tried to get them to breathe fire when you hit them, but that was bugging out in an insane way. Uh they just wouldn't stop breathing fire. <laughs> But then we have the most interesting one. This is the glow drake, and I'm actually going to grab a bunch of the eggs. Let's see, here's a glow drake in full light. It is literally just like a dark blue um, one of the slime bellies. But if I go to a dark area, I need like a cave. There's a cave. Yeah, this should be dark enough over here. If you get to a light level of 8 or below, they glow in the fucking dark. And I love them. And they're beautiful. And they're probably going to be the thumbnail now. <laughs> Actually, looking at this, they'd make a perfect thumbnail. Anyway. Yeah, that's... That's the, uh, that's the, the dragon stealth. They all exist, and they are all... I, honestly, the goal, whenever you get this SCP, should probably be going for this guy. The, uh, the glow drake, because they're, like, the coolest one. But, uh, frankly, you should just collect them all. And you'll randomly get them. You probably have to go hunting for a bunch of them, but, you know. That kind of adds some fun to it. <laughs> so, yeah, then we have 005. Now, this one, um, I decided to go with a very simple way of using it, because literally the only thing it does is it's supposed to open any lock. Uh, and the only lock I have in Minecraft is this, so... It works on any level of this. That's really its only power. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, that, that's kind of its only functionality. Which is fine, because it's just supposed to be the skeleton key. But then I have SCP-527, which is going to have more functionality in the future. It's just going to take me a while to add it, because I need to add a few more things in order to add it. But if you don't know who 527 is, it's clearly Mr. Fish. As, and, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but the name of the update is the doc, is the Wondertainment update. For specifically the reason of I've added two Wondertainment SCPs. And a bunch of bug fixes, and that, that was about it. So yeah, we're going to now have a look at uh, 002. 
Because, yeah, Mr. Fish is just, he's... Why do I have so much reach? The fuck? <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I did that, but okay. I'm very confused now. But yeah, we're going to slash that spawn here. And then we are going to go into this in-game mode survival. So yeah, you'll notice I'm not getting slowness like you used to in that. Um, but you'll also notice I'm still alive right now. Give it a sec. There it goes. Did I not translate that? Oh, god damn it. I see I need to fix a translation. <laughs> uh, that's a translation error. My bad. Sorry, guys. The bug fix will be out probably at some point during the day that you guys are seeing this. Because technically, I'm, I'm like recording this the night before. That's why I sound. I might sound slightly drowsy. It's like fucking 2 a.m. <laughs> it took me a while to get this update out, okay? My internet's being slow. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I became a chair. Um,. But yeah, there's a lot of different furniture that you can actually, like, get in this. Well, actually, no, there isn't. What am I saying? I haven't... Ad I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a feature that I'm going to be adding, and I'm working on, and I actually have models for. <laughs> I haven't added the other furniture yet. I need to get on that, and I will. It's just, it's taking a while to make things. Because uh, I'm also working on, like, a few other things all at once. So... Don't worry, that will be coming. <laughs> but also, I want to point out, this mod is blowing up. I looked at the mod page on Fo on CurseForge, uh, literally just to, you know, upload this earlier, and it was at 11,000 when I looked at it. Like, Jesus Christ, people. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. God, I, have, I don't even have 11,000 subscribers. Frankly, I know that I'm probably going to put this video up on the uh, on the page uh, as an explanation as to what the fuck the portals are. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're new and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Please, <laughs> I need I need the help. I need I need all the help I can get. Uh, please make making this mod worth it. <laughs> so yeah, um. Uh, that is about all for this update. This took too goddamn long. Like, Jesus, I need to get some subs and stuff. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, I am out of time, and I've shown everything, so... It, it's not really out of time, it's more... I'm God, I'm fucking tired. I am sorry, guys. I am rambling. I, I get like this when I am slightly tired. I'm sure some of you have picked up on it pa via past videos. <laughs> Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I will see you next video, live stream, or the next. Peace, guys.